Okay, in an LC circuit, we just have the inductor voltage and the capacitor voltage. And we can model the voltage as the, 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 you know, this voltage is a cosine function, this voltage is a cosine function of time. We know that we can model a cosine function of time on a reference circuit. So what do we do? We say, okay, well, capacitor voltage, we're going to represent on the circle, on, on the unit circle, not a unit circle, it's actually a circle whose radius is 1 over omega c. Okay, so the length of this vector is 1 over omega c. And of course, c could be anything, l could be anything. So 1 over omega c could be bigger than omega l, could be smaller than omega l. Now I've drawn it so that 1 over omega c is smaller than omega l. I'm going to use the green circle for omega l, it's not a very good circle. Uh, this is a little better circle. I'm going to use this circle for the capacitor voltage. We'll see how that works out. Uh, so this vector VC, it's a reference vector. So I'm going to write REF. might not be legible, but that just, said, that just indicates that this is a reference vector. And as this vector moves around the circle with angular velocity omega, it projects down here to the actual capacitor voltage. Because, of course, if you take this reference VC, this vector of magnitude, maybe I'll write that down, magnitude 1 over omega C, okay, the angle theta here implicitly is our omega T plus phi 1. So the cosine of omega t plus phi 1 is going to project this vector down here in a way that you should be familiar with from pre-calculus 2, from trigonometry, uh, from first semester physics where we did this with simple harmonic motion. So I don't want to go into too much detail in this. There's your picture. As this vector, as, as, omega, as t goes on, omega t plus phi 1 will increase, assuming omega is positive, and you're going to to have this vector go around and around this circle. If omega is large, then a small change in t will take you all the way around the circle. So you'll be going around the circle very fast. If omega is small, omega t is going to change more slowly. You'll go around the circle much more slowly. All that uh, you should understand from precalculus or trig, uh, but certainly from simple harmonic motion. Okay, now the inductor voltage We have the reference vector V sub L. Now I drew that in the opposite direction from ZC. Why is that? Well, because this is a negative multiple of the cosine. The magnitude is, not sure I want to write that there, magnitude is omega L. It's 180 degrees out of phase with this being negative means it's equal and opposite, but not, but well, it's in the opposite direction on the unit circle. It's not equal and opposite. Remember, 1 over omega c and omega l could be anything at all. Uh, this could be bigger than this, could be much bigger, they could be equal and opposite, <coughs> any combination. Well, this means then that your <coughs> actual V sub L could be represented by this vector. Okay, as you go around the circle, then uh, this vector is going to de if you keep going around from here, uh, this blue vector is going to decrease to zero by the time this vector rotates to here. Then it's going to increase to this point, and then as you continue around, it's going to decrease back to zero, <coughs> and so forth. Again, in a way you should be familiar with. Um, and this one will do something very similar, but of course it's always going to be on the opposite side, so that this is always going to be fighting this. 
and that's exactly what happens since this is always negative when this is positive and vice versa. Okay, well, the net of these two in the position I've drawn it is probably about here. So that's your total voltage. So let's see, this is, I'll have to write it up here and draw an arrow, but this is V total. This arrow here represents your total voltage. And of course, we could add these two vectors out here, uh, th these two uh, representative vectors here, these two reference vectors. Uh, we could add these two and we get a vector about like this. You know, come this much shorter than this, we come to about here. And of course, this vector projects back here. And this is our, this could be our reference. The total. I could use a bigger picture of this, but I've got a bigger picture out here. Okay, that's basically your phasor picture for an LC. Now we can work an R in there and see how that works out. Now that's what we're going to do next. Um, but your final picture here is the total voltage across your LC is just what you get as this reference vector, V total vector, goes around here. So uh, you're going to have a circle. It's hard to draw a circle when you've already got your center. But you're going to have a circle here, and your reference V total will go around here. And your reference V total will be in phase with whichever one of the VC or the VL is the greater. Okay, well, let's see what happens now if you put a resistor into the circuit.